Welcome to creating rubber stamps. I am using a rubber carving block, lino cutting tools, the sharper nib, an X-Acto knife, a pencil and an ink stamp, which I bought in a stationery store. I have used a drawing of a bee that I made in an old sketchbook. Simplifying it, I transferred the image onto the rubber. Using a lino cutting tool available in most art supply shops, I started cutting. The aim is to leave the lines that I want to see cutting away or cutting out the positive space. Remember to cut away from you. Your resting or support hand must also be out of the way of the cutting tool. You do not want the tool to slip and cut into your hand. I have had this happen and it's not too pleasant. Also, use a cutting mat if you have one or improvise like I have done here. An acrylic plate stuck to the table with masking tape also works. The rubber blocks attach well to it and do not slip. This is really important. You don't want your carving block to slip all over the place. That could be very dangerous. Once all carving is complete and you've cleaned up your work area, you can cut away the extraneous pieces around the edge. This is the final step in creating a stamp. Again, be super careful. Maybe use scissors if the shape is not too complex. Once this is done, it is time to trial your first print. A stamp pad is so much easier than rolling on acrylic or ink. It's a little hint I've picked up over the years watching artists who share on the internet. They're cheap and really easy to manage. I also bought little tags which I adore. You can print or draw underneath to add some interest. Now the first print tells you or shows you where the faults lie so you can cut off the excess rubber. You can also paint or draw underneath the print to add interest. I am lucky enough to have just bought some Copic markers which I was testing out and these form the base of my little stamp prints. Pretty cool. Go and enjoy. It's fun. <laughs>